Hey guys, I'm super excited about this one. We got an RTX 4090. Yes, they exist and we got one straight from the factory. Let's open up and check it out. Something breaks. This will be really awkward. Hopefully it opens this way. Ooh. That was very underwhelming. This reminds me a bit about like a expensive female dresses. Ooh. It's definitely sitting there at an angle. These need to be torn. Do we just tear it? That was very satisfying. Please don't fall out. Very nice. That is a nice presented box. From this, you can't really tell how big it is. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is a thick boy. The ports, the ports look ridiculous. They're like, just a tiny few pulls down well and then kadonk. It's heavy. But I must say, it doesn't feel much heavier than some of the basis boards that we have. Actually, let me just grab. So this is a 3080 from last gen. It's kind of the same size. Actually, the height is basically the same. Huh. It's dense. It's definitely very dense and very, very heavy. But no, it's, I think it's a bit heavier. Let me grab a quick scale and have a look. So let's start with the Asus card. We're looking at 1.792 kilos. It's a lot. Do we think this RTX 1490 is going to be many more? Make a bet. I think it's going to be over two kilos. Oh yeah. Almost 200 grams over two kilos. Nice. Yep, it's a, it's a thick boy. It's heavy. It's got a bit of a cover here for the PCIe slot. Still using PCIe Gen 4, just so everybody's aware, with 16 lanes. I, I like that the actual board is dyed in black. It looks pretty nice. Oh, yes, the important thing here is we're, all, we're using, yet again, the new connector. So I have a feeling there'll be a very silly looking squid looking uh, power cable in the box. So let's go find it. Actually, accessories. Yep, that's the thing I, I feared I'm gonna see. Mini squid with its four tentacles with eight port power connections. And we take this, connect it into the graphics card, like so. And then we connect four PCIe by eight power cables to power this beast. With the card out of the box, let's talk about what it's actually packing inside. When compared to RTX 3090 Ti, it is still featuring 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory. It boasts a considerable increase in processing power by including 52% increase in CUDA cores, as well as more and newer RT cores, as well as tensor cores. Nvidia also claims this card will boost past 2.5 GHz and there is 12 times more L2 cache. Nvidia has packed in a lot of hardware changes. This is why the new power splitter allows for up to 4 PCIe 8 pin cables. It actually only needs 3 to power the card in its stock operation, but would require 4 when overclocking. Alternatively, you need to plug in 450 or 600 watt PCIe Gen 5 cable from the power supply to feed this beast. There are loads of other improvements on this card, they include larger fans and others. We'll have to check this out in the full review that is coming up. Do make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. When it comes to Nvidia special source features, they're now including DLSS 3 with the later generation of cards. And on paper, together with everything else, we may be finally able to play games in 4K with RTX enabled. But we'll have to verify this in the main review. Let us know what you think about this card and what things you would like us to test. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys in the next one.